Can your science explain why it rains? Yes! Yes, it can! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Saka oh, is so okay. Leave them. Leave them. Saka's so relatable. Hey guys, we are time six back watching Avatar: The Last Airbender. This is book one, episode fourteen, called The Fortune Teller. If you enjoy our videos, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and continue the discussion down below. Also, you can subscribe for future uploads and check out our Patreon page. Up to six episodes ahead, along with full uncut reactions. Link is down below. Check it out if you can. Help support the channel too. And let's get started, by the way. The fortune teller. Hey, she's waving. The line? Oh, I didn't think you would need it, Sokka. Oh my god. I made you a necklace, Katara. Jeez! I thought oh. you lost your other one. How do I love? Oh. Okay. Oh my lord. You mean all of you or just your neck? I mean, <laughs> just your neck. Oh, the training. He doesn't seem phased by it. Whoa there! <laughs> Hank, he clearly doesn't need your help. Oh. No. Look <laughs> <laughs> an egg. Aunt Wu predicted I'd have a safe journey. She's the fortune teller from my village. You didn't have a safe journey. You were almost killed. He's, in, he's safe. But I wasn't. <laughs> but I wasn't. <laughs> have a good one. Of oh, course lunch you is gone. it's gonna rain. The sky's been gray all day. Just admit, <laughs> you might be wrong, and you can come under the umbrella. Look, I'm gonna predict the future now. It's going to keep drizzling. It's gonna stop. See? <laughs> nice. Everyone has the gift, Sokka. <sighs> My name is Meng, and make them I'm believe. Aunt Wu's assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Why she said it like that? So what's your name? Eng. Oh. That rhymes with Meng, and you've got some pretty big ears, don't you? <laughs> I guess. Don't be modest. They're huge. <laughs> it's very nice to meet you. Is that the big ear guy who Aunt Wu predicted you'd marry? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, what? He doesn't yeah. really have big ears. Oh. Maybe because he doesn't have hair, it looks bigger. Enjoy your snack. Now, who's next? Don't be shy. Guess that's me. <laughs> well, I gotta find a bathroom. He's like, is it me, is it me, is it me, is it me? Do you use moisturizer? The man you're going to marry, I can see that he's a very powerful bender. <gasps> That's so big. <laughs> That's literally have the like all the uh, like the generals, right? like armies. Like, yeah. yeah. Why well, should only come so true if your oh. future is full of struggle and anguish, most of it self-inflicted. But you didn't read my palms or anything. I don't need to. It's written all over. Oh your face. my god. <laughs> the heat makes cracks in the bone, and I read the bone cracks to tell your destiny. Damn. Wow, that's a crack. No oh, shit. Seen this before. Oh. oh! Oh my! Fire alarm. Where's the smoke detector? You will be involved in a great battle. An awesome conflict between the forces of good and evil. An awesome, awesome conflict. A battle whose outcome will determine the fate of the whole world. Yeah, yeah, I knew that already. But did it say anything <laughs> about a girl? You want to know about love? <laughs> yeah, sorry, but I didn't see anything. Damn, that was not very helpful. I must have missed something. Oh, she's making right shit here. up. Trust your heart and you will be with the one you love. Oh, no. Really? She's making shit up. Oh, no. His heart says Katara. That woman is crazy. My life will be calm and happy and joyful. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting for Aunt Wu to come and read the clouds. To predict the fate. To read the oh, clouds. Yeah. That cloud kind of looks like a fluffy bunny. Right. I hope that's not a bunny. The fluffy bunny cloud forecasts doom and destruction. Oh no. Do you even hear 
consider yourself? The cloud reading will tell us if Mount Makapu will remain dormant for another year or if it will erupt. Ooh. We used to have a tradition once a year of going up the mountain to check the volcano ourselves. But ever since Aunt Wu moved to the village 20 years ago, we have a tradition of not doing that. <laughs> Dude, that's so, so stupid. <laughs> Yes. Hair in his mouth? <laughs> what the hell did Dasher aside? The village will not be destroyed by the volcano this year. <laughs> yeah, right now it's <laughs> bursts. Hey, you. I bet Aunt Wu told you to wear those red shoes, didn't she? Yeah. She said I'd be wearing red shoes when I met my true love. Oh my um, god. And how many times have you worn those shoes since you got that fortune? Every day. <laughs> that is gonna come true. <laughs> How warmly should I dress tomorrow? You want me to do a reading for that? She always dresses the same, anyways. Yeah, exactly. You know some stuff about ladies, right? Some stuff. You've come to the right place. <laughs> what can I do you for? Do you for? Here's this girl. Oh my god. I think I know who you mean. You do? And you're okay with it? Of course I am. And to tell you the truth, I've been picking up a subtle vibe that she likes you too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you have to act aloof. Like you don't really care one way or the other. Well, okay. Hey, Ang. I was wondering. See you later. <laughs> wow. That kid is good. Oh, he thinks he's. <laughs> <laughs> Fine once you're married, but at this early stage, it's critical that you maintain maximum aloofness. I wouldn't say maximum. This guy's got the aloof meter on that. Oh, they're at the top of the volcano. It's about to erupt. Yeah. Oh no. Oh shit. That rule was wrong. I can tell. Can you believe she won't let me in? And after all the business I've given her. She <laughs> oh, even she's charge. paying her. She doesn't even charge. Still. Oh, oh, she doesn't try to worry about it. Oh, who was wrong about the volcano? Sokka, you tried to convince me she was wrong before. It's gonna take an oh, awful lot to change my mind. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Aunt Wu was wrong! Yeah, yeah, we know you don't believe in Aunt Wu, Mr. Science and Reason Lover. My brother and Aang saw the lava with their own eyes. Well, I heard Aunt Wu's prediction with my own ears. <laughs> I hate these people. <laughs> you are all in danger. Look, can your fortune telling explain that? Right? Can your science explain why it rains? Yes! Yes, it can! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Sokka oh, is so... Okay, leave them. Leave them. Sokka is so relatable. But they will listen to Aunt Wu. We don't want anyone to hear us. Oh. Oh. oh, I didn't see you there. You don't like me, do you? Of course I like you, but not the way I like you. Oh, I guess not. You're going to meet a great guy who's going to completely fall for you. I know it. Wow. Thanks. Wait, don't you want this? How did she know How that? Did you know? And I've we'll... kind of been oh. stalking you. <laughs> Clouds are made of water and air, so between the two of us, we ought to be able to bend them into any shape we want. Ah. The symbol for volcanic doom. Oh. What's the symbol for volcanic doom? So she had a fucking cheat, cheat sheet. She looks up. <laughs> yeah, but but that just tells her the patterns. She can actually make the patterns. These two can. Oh, look. Oh my. <gasps> Gas. <laughs> Wait a fucking. That's nice. not deep enough at all. That one rock's gonna ruin everything. Or save everything. Oh, damn. Destroyed graves. It's a lot of lava. Dude, you're too close to that lava. It's gonna overflow! That's earth and fire, so they have no firebenders. They have earthbenders, though. Yeah, lava is earth. Earth and fire. Well, lava is melted rock, so earth. 
It's not really fire. Okay, sure. But he's not, he's using the air, he's not using anything else. Yeah. He's hardening it? There we go. He cooled it down. Man. That's Sometimes so I forget what a powerful bender that kid is. Oh! Wait, what did you just say? Nothing, just that Aang is one powerful bender. Oh! Ooh. Katara? I suppose he is. We can't friend him, friends on him anymore. Oh shit! No offense, but I hope this has taught everyone a lesson about not relying too much on fortune telling. But Aunt Wu predicted the village wouldn't be destroyed, and it wasn't. She was right after all. Oh no. Someone slapped him. No, 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 no. This it's guy's okay pissing me off. Someone okay. pull his mustache. Can I ask you something? Just as you reshape those clouds, you have the power to shape your own destiny. True. Finally. Bye, yeah. everyone. It was so nice to meet you. Take care, Meg. Take care. <laughs> <Woozy>. <laughs> All right. Good episode, man. Damn. This is one of the funniest episodes, I think. Yeah. So much stupid shit. So much relationship drama. <laughs> and that, but it wasn't like corny, you know? No. It was, still, it was fun to watch. It was well done. All right. The fortune teller. Aunt Wu, what do you, what do you, what's your take on her? I mean, I don't know, she, it seems like she, well, I think, I think at the end, like, she kind of yeah. gave her secret. Yeah. As stupid as this village is, they were right. Because, and then she's still right. Oh, yeah. You know? pisses me off. <laughs> it does piss me off, right? Because, <laughs> dude, like, I think all of us, we're on soccer side here. You know? Yeah, yeah. Is anyone not on soccer side? No, nah, of course. Yeah. Come on, man. And... The fact that he couldn't get his uh, moment of like, ha ha, I told you so, it it irks me, you know. Well, technically he did. Did well, he? Actually, no, he didn't. He didn't. Because they just brushed it off like, oh, village wasn't destroyed. <laughs> so I, she was right. <laughs> I try, like, I try to keep an open mind to that all that bullshit, but I just can't. Like, yeah. it's so hard for me to. Yeah. Even with the, what do you call it? These, uh... Like Zodiac signs? Zodiac, yeah. yeah bullshit, too. Especially that. Hmm. They're like... To sign dude, some people it. are like... Ask you, okay, what you, Zodiac sign you are? And they're like, oh, you're... You're gonna die at 80, No, no, no. I've like, had people unfollow me because I'm the wrong Zodiac sign. Yeah, yeah. Like, they do shit like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, legit. <laughs> Yeah, never disclose, never disclose your age yeah. or your month you're born. Your your <laughs> I mean, hey, look, like if you want to believe in that stuff, that's fine. But don't like push it on to others, yeah. you know? Yeah, it's fine. You can believe like, it. Like in this okay. situation, believe what you want, but your belief is endangering the whole village. Yeah, so, everyone like, around fuck? you. You know? But you also choose to believe it. No, but if uh, if Aang wasn't there, they all would have died. You know? Or, or, or something or else. Something else would have happened to save the village. Maybe Aunt Wu does have some kind of powers. Yeah, she, she, she's a water Dude, bender. Kind of low key though. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying that. What? She sent them the umbrella to make Ang believe that she can tell the truth. Okay? What? So they went to her. They went to that village because of her. And they saved that village because of her. Damn it. I think the the vagueness here is meant to uh, make us believe that she could be right. I think she is right. But I think she also... No, like they leave it open on purpose. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. that whichever belief system you want to follow, it still works. So mm -hmm. like if you if you take Sokka's side, it can still work. Yeah. And if you take Aunt Wu's side, or Katara's side apparently, because she really bought into it, yeah. then yeah. it still works, let's, I guess. Let's talk about Aang's and Katara's relationship. Yeah, what do you think? I about think that? that she's gonna start acting weird now. And I hope not. But you know. I thought that Ang will lose interest. But at the end, when she told him that you can reshape your destiny, maybe that yeah, was good him. advice. Yeah. yeah. If 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 Katara actually starts acting differently, I'm gonna like her character less. Because that I that was me the wrong way. When someone tells you how you're supposed to feel about something, like to me that's that's 
complete cringe. Yeah, if her, uh, no, yeah, I get it. If her character development is solely based off of Aunt Wu, yeah, yeah, exactly. It doesn't feel deserved. No, you know, it's completely unwarranted. So I get what you're saying. But what are your thoughts in general of if Aang and Katara get together? I just don't see uh, that. I don't, I don't think I don't see it's like a big deal or anything. I mean, if it they they're together on this journey, they have a lot of uh, you know important memories together. They've gone through real struggles. They've ri like risked their lives for each other, that kind of stuff. I mean, do do we know about previous avatars and their relationships? No. Can they Not yet. be in a relationship and be the avatar at the same time? I don't see what would restrict that. Like well, your duty to the world. Yeah. What do you mean? Because I mean, like they have to thing, travel maybe. everywhere. Like maybe you can't like, you can't settle down because yeah. your duty is to the world. Yeah. Like, Ang is. I mean, it would make sense if he's with Katara because she's always with him, right? Traveling. Exactly. So I yeah, guess. Yeah, might as well just date. I guess that works. Yeah. Yeah, because. Yeah, well, what is their uh, age gap? Ang is twelve. Oh, yeah. one hundred and twelve. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, that makes it kind of wrong. But. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Aang's so Aang, Aang is 12, and I think Katara is 14. That's not That's bad. it? I think. She does look 14. None of them are older than 16, because Zuko is 16. Mm. Oh, maybe Zuko and Katara will get together. When Zuko turns into, like, a peaceful... No. You, you so you're fully on that ship that Zuko. Okay, I want I want Z I, I want think Zuko. he will. I, I don't see why they showed us that last episode. The storm, right? But not anytime soon. How oh. many seasons? Yeah, three seasons. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That's enough time to turn. Yeah, each one is at least twenty episodes. Oh Zuko and Katara is a good one. Yeah, Ang will, but... will be so jealous now. <laughs> yeah, yeah the guy that's trying to kill you gets yeah. with the girl that you want. Oh <laughs> dude, isn't that great? I Damn. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, overall, this is not very uh, story progressive, but it it was a fun episode. I'd yeah, say. for sure. They're very fun, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So I enjoyed it. Let's leave it there. Rest in peace, Mang, bro. I hope she comes she, back. She's alive. What do you mean? I mean, she, no, no, no. I mean, like, but her feelings. <laughs> Rest her in peace. Feelings. Her feelings. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe right. who knows? Maybe like when uh, when Aang realizes that him and uh, Katara are going to work out, she, he's going to come back and be like, "Yo, what's up?" What's up? What's up? Yeah, start acting Maybe she gets again. older and she gets prettier or something. Damn, I think I don't think Aang's that shallow, but uh, yeah. you know, yeah, maybe they'll they'll have like some good conversations and connect later down the line. Yeah, <laughs> I agree shallow. with Aiden here. I agree with Aiden. All right, let's see. All right, all right, guys, thanks for watching our reaction for Avatar: The Last Airbender, Book One, Episode Fourteen. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and remember on Patreon you get up to six episodes ahead. Link is down below, and we'll see you next episode. Peace.